So Safe Work Australia says that poor change management is a psychosocial hazard. This means that it can cause psychological or physical harm. In this video, I'm going to share with you how our brains and bodies react when we are faced with change or uncertainty and how understanding the psychology of change can help you minimize those impacts. As humans, when we sense any danger, our brain goes into fight, flight or freeze mode. That is very true in an organizational setting as well. People tend to go into fight, flight or freeze zone at the first rumor of change. During business as usual, most employees are sitting in the comfort zone. This is called zone of normal productivity. People are happy and comfortable to face any challenge. But as soon as we hear there is a change coming, people fall into the stress zone. In that zone, there is a high impact on people's productivity and their satisfaction. People are fighting the change. They are engaged, but they are resisting the change. Some people will fall into the risk zone. That's the flight zone where there is a high chance that those people will leave the organization, which will ultimately have an impact on the customers. Some employee in an organization will fall into a free zone. In that zone, people are passive. They are not adapting or opposing the change. People will naturally dip in and out of these zones. The longer they stay in the stress or the risk zone, the higher the psychosocial impact. If you like what I'm sharing, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more videos. By understanding the psychology of change, we are able to recognize the patterns when faced with uncertainty or change. That helps us to reform our thoughts, which leads to taking actions rather than feeling victim because change is everyone's responsibility. For me, the starting point is seeking more information, which nine out of 10 times leads to uncovering hidden opportunities. You as a change champion can uncover hidden opportunities for yourself by asking the questions such as, when is this change happening? Why is this change happening? What is actually going to change? Now that I have pulled myself out of the stress or the risk zone, I'm able to help others within the organization by starting conversation about the psychology of change, encouraging people to reform their thoughts and take actions. As a change champion, I have been role modeling and mentoring people through uncertainty and change and you, as a change manager, has the power to make your workplace psychologically safe and fun. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to grow as a change champion.